So we'll see what happens here. We'll like preemptively, we'll just go for it again by default, I think. Um, wouldn't it be bad? I'll get this. Okay. We'll get those three next round. Pretty interesting start, not gonna lie. I think uh, it's a pretty decent start though. Pretty decent start. Edu Rudo. <laughs> Cool name. There we go. Good game. Ding! I guess we'll like take the wooden sword out. Um, because we want to rock broom instead. I mean, we could have just rocked the wooden sword. Like, honestly, we could have literally only rocked the wooden. Oh, no, no. Only the wooden sword. Um. And maybe we just get these two. Banana. And then rocket healing herb there. Get space next round. Put both of the garlics in. And go from there. I mean, but we have it healing. We got empowerment for the DPS. Poison sucks for us here. Missing sucks too. Damn. Five blind. I'll get it. Because you never know what we're going to get for that, uh, that skill, so we kind of have to build for every possible field that we could possibly get, right? So yeah. On the bright side, we get the skill next round, so we can reserve these three. And depending on the skill that we get will depend on the, the items we buy this round. Otherwise, we just go like some other build. Zerka mode? Can I win? I just realized we didn't really need that whetstone. I think I reserved the whetstone. Yeah, I did. Oh, we didn't get anything. <laughs> we didn't get anything! Except for spicy banana. We're pulling a crystallized. Um, we'll buy these two. I'll buy this just by default. See what happens. Honestly, I might just buy this banana and call it. I think that's the plan. Buy the banana and call it around. Uh, I think we win. Yeah, nice. So many bills we could go for. We have double garlic. If we can get the garlic skill, that would be great. Double garlic with a pan already. That would be freaking awesome. I feel like we have to just build for everything. Just by default, just no matter what. <laughs> Until round four. <laughs> and then that's when you make your choices. But right here, we're, we're kind of building for everything. Every possible, except getting the sword. Getting this sword will really help us build for everything. I mean, we kind of do need the sword though, because we need totems. Anyway, so I mean. But I feel like if we build for everything, we risk not actually putting things inside our board that we need to actually win the game. Which puts us at a disadvantage. Or if we get the garlic thing, that would be great. We already got three garlics. Now get space. But yeah, we already got three garlics, man. Eating the garlic thing would be awesome. definitely beat this guy what have you been buying this entire time my friend what have you been buying Ooh, okay we got slime time so we definitely go falcon blade here we say goodbye to the pan situation and we just go falcon blade because we got slime time all right cool very very nice all right, so we're gonna go a Falcon Blade, Nocturnal Locklifter, Unhealing, Slime Time, Gooberts. That's the plan. That is the plan. Um, with that being said, I'm just gonna get rid of Pan. I believe. And probably getting rid of this broom. Not broom, sorry, but this the wooden sword. Probably getting rid of the sword. I don't feel like we need it. EBH. 
is kind of weird as far as the activators go, because you want to do this. You know what I mean? But you also need this for the plus two damage. Damage probably takes priority here. Realistically. Another Goobert. Gotta get it. Already three Guberts. Now we just need a Falcon play. <laughs> That's it. These Goobers should help us heal a lot, though, to be fair, which is nice. Which can be good with uh, Shell Totem, now that I think about it. For the empowerment. Yeah, we do so much healing here. Having three Goobers already is amazing. Ooh. Very nice. Very, very nice. Honestly, probably better just to grab this oil lamp instead of a falcon or instead of the gloves here. Because we can use that. Well, we can use that as an activator if I did this instead. Uh, but this is faster. Oh wait, I could do, I could do crap. Unless I move you here, then I can use you as an activator. Okay, I guess we'll just do this. Okay, this will work. This will work. Ooh. Interesting. He's going smithing for dummies. Falcon blade with uh, oil lamp. Nice. What do we got? Ten gold. I guess we'll just uh. Do I get gloves of haste? Sure. And then I guess we'll just go piggy for the money. It's round six though, so we need to get ourselves a another hero sword asap, or at least a magic staff. Very important. I think that's what we'll just priority next round. Once we buy this blueberry. If we survive Berserker mode, we win, I think. Alright, cool. Very nice. Oh, there goes the magic orb. That's awesome. And we might as well buy blueberries. And this. I really hope the game doesn't like cuck me next round. Or this game, as far as getting the, uh, as far as getting the Falcon Blade goes, I really hope not. At least we got a Magic Staff. We got a triple source of blue, uh, mana for it. Oh, buddy! Oh, buddy! Excalibur with the spicy banana and three bananas. Ooh, I know you're excited to see what happens here. I know you're excited. You just need, uh, you need unhealing staff now to utilize the healing. The 170 use heal for three. You're gonna need a lot of mana generation though, but... Yeah. At least turn that healing into damage. Vampirus, please. And thank you. I'm not gonna get Toad because I feel like I don't need it. And I need Gloves of Haste, more importantly. Then again, the Toad is on sale. I'll buy it. One, two, and three. On Forge. Starting to not know where to put these guys. <laughs> Hesitant to not even get blood amulets here. Yeah, I'm not gonna get blood, am blood amulets. I'm not. I'm not gonna spend nine gold. I'd rather go for a freaking another gloves of haze. Fuck the gold. I need to switch where that lamp is though. Put down that uh magic magic staff instead. I think. Gotta pick those up though. 
matter what. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now we can play the game. A little weird, but... We're making do with what we have. For the most part. I definitely want to put Goobers all on you. Use blueberries for those activators. Blueberries for these. That guy. Oh, wait, crap. Well, let's we do that. Uh. There we go. Alright, nice. This is looking up. This is looking up! This is looking so up. Ooh, a crit wood. Nasty stuff. Refino, our healing, bro, our healing. Um, ooh. We should probably get Power of the Moon here. Just because we're going to go an unhealing staff anyways. And then when the fatigue starts, there you go. Just a freaking boom. Mana Mastery wouldn't be bad either. Just for the mana generation, but... Might as well just go Power of the Moon, I think. Alright. So let's just do that. Because <laughs> that's just what we're going to do. I'm going to move you actually over here. <laughs> this is a crazy build. We really don't need oil lamps here, right? Um, most of our damage is going to be coming from the healing, not from Bach and Blade increasing in damage, I feel. So I'm really probably not getting this oil lamp, I don't think. Rehearted! 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 Thank you for the raid, Rehearted. Cry Baby Jew, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As you guys can see, we're having fun. <laughs> we're having fun for the most part. Thank you for the raid. I hope your stream was phenomenal. I saw you were almost GC on the Reaper. You were like 83 master when I started, uh, when I went live. What did you end up with today? I should probably get a Goober. <laughs> now that I think about it, what Goober should I get though? Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Oh, you lost the GM title back at Masters again. <laughs> It'd be like that. It'd be like that. Damn, I'm, I don't know what to do here. I don't, I honestly don't even want to rely on, like, I don't want to rely on oil lamp. I know it's good to get, just stack a bunch of oil lamps in your falcon blade. I know. But I want to rely on a, the unhealing staff and the Gubert's healing. That's what I want to rely on. I just gotta get there. Gotta get the king right. I was thinking king. But I'm not sure we're going to be able to get it. I mean, we need crown. If we see, we just need crown and box of jewels. That's it. And then we can get a king goober. King goober would be great in this situation, actually. Like we could literally put one right here and have some activators on here. That would be phenomenal. I guess we just go for king then. What are we cooking here? We're cooking an unhealing style falcon blade on gooblings. That's the plan. Unhealing falcon blade. Yes. With the locker. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. I think I'm gonna skip this oil lamp. I don't want to rely on it. Uh, I want to get amulets, but I don't know if like now is a good time. Because I want to get King. I think the next big investment we should probably get is King Goober. That and then the unhealing salve, of course, right? So I don't think we, uh, I don't think we get amulets. I'll get this fanny pack though. A fanny pack is nice. 
And well, we also got lucky at the power to moon too, which is pretty nice. What's King Goober's mana usage? I believe it's five mana. Every time for it to activate, I believe. It is five mana. Thinking about getting this cap. I might as well. I got a stone to sell. Alright, we'll go with this. The first unhealing build from this beta, as far as I can recall. Really? This is the first of a healing uh, build that you've seen from the beta? But we're healing so much. I need to do this with Amplify healing. Wait, are we healing a lot? I don't know. I think we lose this regardless. I'm going to look at the numbers after this to see how much we actually healed for. But we're not beating an Excalibur. <laughs> um, 13. They activated 13 times. Each. That's like 80 heal. Per. Roughly. Damn, imagine if this was all damage. Yeah, we need that unhealing staff as soon as possible. Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. That'll work. That'll do it. I don't know where to put you. Uh, I guess I could literally just move you up. <laughs> Put you there. Pretty solid for round 10. True. And now it's all gonna be unhealing damage. Next round. Next round. Honestly, it might be worth to get a goober now. Like, we have so many of these gooblings. I don't even know where to put this goobling. Because I kind of want to keep this on the 30% faster because that's another activator, right? Dad, there are just do this. I guess. But I guess this, I don't know. That's probably good. And I suppose we just get space and roll once. Roll for nothing. Sure, we'll get that. All right, let's win this one. Hey, we can win this one. We can definitely win this. Yes, 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 yes. Your long sword, magic torch, and a smithing for dummies. He definitely needs another weapon on there. Holy crap! Can we win this? Oh my gosh. This item saved us. Power of the Moon definitely saved us there. Power of the freaking Moon definitely saved us. If he had one more weapon here, that would have been game. Literally just a Claws of Attack, and that's it. Game over. <laughs> one Claws of Attack, game over. Alright, Staff of Unhealing. Let's see what we can do with this bad boy. Honestly, bro, getting a hungry blade and putting it here wouldn't be bad. Another falcon blade? Nah. Good. Shit, we might as well make the goober now. We have two extra goober gooblings. We might as well make the goober. Oh, I forgot I need to fill up my uh, nocturnal lock lifter. Huh. But I also want a king goober. Should I just W key for a King Goobert at this point? And probably better mana generation too. It's not like we generate a lot of mana. We're, uh, we're, we're literally relying on blueberries. Like we need some mana orbs. So yeah. Probably shouldn't get Prismatic Orb. I think we W key mana generation. And um... Yeah. Mana generation and King Goobert. I think is our priority. Okay. King might be troll. He might be. I'm gonna try to get it anyways. Oh my gosh, we got destroyed. How did we get destroyed so hard? destroyed by a simple rapier bro staff of unhealing didn't do shit is it because our mana generation is just so bad because i mean yeah he has this but like that shouldn't have been that bad 
we heal for three, six, nine, twelve, like. And staff on the healing did 19 damage. I, I think we just need mana generation. No keep ability near sword. I think I should get a shield. I think we need mana generation. So our staff of unhealing can like not be bad. I'll get a shield though, cause it's on sale. I'll get one. If this works, it'd be a thing of beauty. It really will. It really freaking will be. I'm not getting this goober. Goobling. Not getting this goobling. I guess I could do this. Are these magic items? They're not. Damn it. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool if they were. I'm so I want this. I'm not gonna lie. But I can't. I need mana generation. I need mana generation. I got the little dudes, yeah. I did. I need mana generation, bro. Decent, right? How do they work? Every three activations, they heal for five health. Look how many times they're activating without this being up, though. That's the thing. But when this is up and they are activating, they do a lot of damage. But I need mana generation for them to be up all the time. That worked pretty well, though. I don't think we're getting King Goobert, though. Maybe I should just go for a Light Goobert. Because, I mean, five rounds, we need a crown, we need the chest. We have to get those two, first of all. Second of all, we have to get the combinations. That's two rounds of combinations. So, realistically, we have two rounds to get the crown and the chest. And then we combine on round 16 or 17. No, we combine on round 16 and then we get the King Goober in round 17. That's just not going to happen. So, we might as well just get the Light Goober. Hi, how are you? Been a pretty good adopt. How have you been? Take us the crown. Nah, we're still gonna go for a light goober. I spent money on this. <laughs> I spent money on you. In that case, we'll pretty much have everything we need. So we just gotta max this guy out now, I believe. That's like the last thing we have to do. So I might as well just buy both of these. And we still need mana generation as well. Damn, maybe we don't buy both of these. Shit. We need mana generation, bro. We need a mana orb. I need to go right here. Perfect spot for a mana orb. One mana orb is all we need. One mana orb will fix everything right now. Water. Eating me a frog. Now I'm dead. Thank you for the follow, Gamekeeper. Appreciate that, my friend. We not like Goobling this time? No, I already got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm fine, thank you. A little tired, but I'm fine. Hey, that means you've been working. Nothing bad about working, my friend. Nothing bad about that at all. I'm scared. I need mana generation, but I also want to work on this Nocturnal Locklifter. Maybe I just go for the Blood Hamlet. I don't care for the Prismatic Orb. Then again, I could go for the Prismatic Orb to get the start of mana. So that this starts at the start of the game. And that wouldn't be bad. Or do I take my chances? I think I take my chances. We have four health. Like, I think we're fine. We're just, we're just gonna take our chances here. Probably gonna lose this game though, because we don't have stamina generation. With this light, uh, this light saber here. So yeah. <laughs> but we got a combination though, so that's good. Light Goobert. All right, mana generation. Let me see what you got. 
Another blueberry. Blueberry is better than no berry. Glowing crown is never gonna proc. <laughs> Mana orb me, my friend. Mana orb me. This is such a cool setup. <laughs> I actually like this. Poor, uh, poor with blueberries, though? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, but like... I don't know. I feel like we just need a man horde. I mean, I sure. We'll get it. We'll get it, because I could put it in this area, get the start of mana and everything for the unheal. That blind blows. We lost, though. That blind. Ouch. But I'm gonna get it. Sure. I don't... You know what? We're just gonna do this build with a bunch of blueberries at this point. Apparently. That's how this build is gonna be ran. With a shit ton of blueberries. I guess we could have gone for the light goober. We just seen the, the chest... We saw the crown earlier. Round three, what do we got in that combination? Got the King Goober in round uh, 17 or 18. Okay. There should be enough mana generation for it, right? Realistically. Stop procking your crown. It's your last crown proc, sir. Damn, our mana generation. Even with this mini blueberries. <laughs> it's working though. When the unhealing staff is actually activated, it's working. Give me a mana orb at this point, man. I'm I'ma keep picking up your blueberries, but I'd like a mana orb. <laughs> I, I'm just baffling how we're just not getting a mana orb at all. single one. <laughs> oh, not a single mana orb. We're gonna find one. Uh, we're gonna find... Damn! You didn't find a stamina potion? That's what it looks like to me. Wait, I think we have enough mana generation now. <laughs> that actually did really good. This is interesting. I guess all the gooblings did like 30 damage each. This is actually like kind of crazy. Look at it like each goobling doing 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So that's 180 damage. Basically 180 damage from that. From that. And not to mention, we don't even have this maxed out. Like we get a lot more amplified healing to do even more damage. Well, just not good with this build. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be bad. Honestly, it might even be better. I'm not going to cap with you. It might even be better. The Nocturnal Lock Lifter, considering we're not even maxing out our Nocturnal Lock Lifter. Our Nocturnal Lock Lifter is not happy. At all. Should I get this? But to be fair, if we manage to get a mana orb with this build, I would not have bought this many blueberries. And we would have probably focused the more on the Amphite healing for the Nocturnal Lock Lifter. To be fair. That would have definitely probably happened. I don't know if I want to buy it. I should probably just buy it. 13 gold. I'm at 2 gold to reroll. I could just put it here and get it. We have to keep this up here. We need the man at the start of the game for this thing. Kind of sucks, though, because I would like to, like, you know, 
combine it or whatever. I could also move it up by one. Get a little bit more vamp. Losing out on the oil lamp doing anything though. Kinda? I mean, I could do like this. Not horrible. Horrible always needs to hit each other. Okay, Far, how, explain to me how you want the porbs to hit each other here. Unless I literally just move this up here. And like, just do that. Unless I just do this. And just do that. But this is honestly, bro, this is probably better than the, the extra eight and healing is amplifying. Not to mention the Goober's Holy item. So I might be even might be able to put both of them in here or you know yeah it is better because this just gives us eight wait a second the eight percent is only on the weapon wait is it is it increasing the weapon steal 25 percent life is that increasing by eight percent or is your amplified as healing increasing my eight percent which one is increasing my eight percent <laughs> don't ask me how I've been playing this game for this long and still don't know the answer to that. I won't have an answer for you. Damn, I can't do that. Every eight seconds. Here we go. <clears throat> Life still is increased. Oh, damn, never mind. Ouch. You didn't hear? Mana orbs were criminalized. How are mana orbs criminalized? <laughs> the one goop facing back is making me tweak a little. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. I wonder if this good build would be good if you just like literally got a shit ton of goobers. <laughs> I could have four goobers right now if I wanted to. It's probably not good with it though. Unless you got like double falcon blade or something. I fuck with this build though, I'm not gonna lie. I kinda like it. <laughs> Give me a mana orb to be better, but like double prismatic orbs and a bunch of blueberries. That's fine. I'm satisfied with that. And then we have, what do we have? A 16% increase in Amplified Healing? I mean, the shield is a holy item, too. We should probably put the shield, like, up here or something. Realistically. If we, like... Had a different, you know? A different... Can I buy that? Yeah. Or, actually... Well, wait. Yeah, I can buy it. Boom. And then this can go here. Or even more amplified healing. So now we're getting 24. No, no, 3, 6, 9, 12. Yeah, 24. We're getting 24% amplified healing. What does the moon badge give for a moon shield? Oh, it, um, it's, um, it reflects one debuff every single time it activates. Which honestly wouldn't be bad here. We go against a blind build, you know what I mean? Blind and Falcon Blade would suck. Ooh. Ouch. 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 Oh, just, why do you have a random ass stone golem here? I guess it'll activate though. I mean, he's got what? Two of these healing herbs. And he's getting random buffs from all the cheeses and stuff, so more than likely, he's gonna activate the stone golem. Ouch, though. And he's got stone as well. I don't know. Our build kind of doesn't have any form of scaling. That's the only problem I see here. There's no infinite scaling with this build. 
If we had like a shit ton of oil lamps, we have infinite scaling, but we don't have infinite scaling with this build. Is our blind even gonna matter? I don't know. They cleanse though. Interesting. I don't know if we win this. I think we lose because it's an Excalibur build, right? And Excalibur builds are just good. Then again, I guess we did have a way of combating blind because we did a shit ton of luck with all these blueberries. Okay, crown proc. No more crown for you. Let's see what we can do here. With all this healing that we have. Berserker mode already proccing. Out of stamina? How are we out of stamina? Oh, he has the... Damn, he has the fanfare. Fanfare sucks. Oh, he's doing so much damage to us right now. Holy crap. Can you... I don't even, I don't even want to, I don't, I don't. <laughs> There's no way we're going to win that. 